So what do you think about spies, right? Right, right. So what, what do you think when you hear the word spies? It like you think about those dark trench coat guys always behind the lines exposing secrets. Stuff like that. Or do you think about this guy? Yeah. That guy. Well, always snooping around, backstabbing people. You know, kind of really annoys a lot of people always having that imposter snooping around, which is understandable. So, obviously, these two guys, these little backstabbers, nobody likes them. I mean, they're everywhere, and oftentimes it's going to end up in you being dead. Well, um, today we'll be answering the question here. Which one of those are better at the job they do? Admittedly, this is a pretty complicated question. You know, two completely different games, two completely different characters, and now all of a sudden we're judging how well they stab people in the back after getting them to trust them. It's kind of a messed up topic, but I don't know. Seems like something needed to be answered. So, obviously, we have to have some way of comparing the two, and I think doing them one by one is probably going to be the best and easiest idea. So, we'll start with Spy, because I honestly think Spy is going to be a winner in this case. He does have a lot of different abilities and skills that said imposter from Among Us does not have. So, we could start off with simple things like the ability to backstab, invisibility, you know, disguises, stuff like that. But at the same time, these are kind of simple things, especially the backstabbing. The simple fact that they both, in a way, sort of do that. They both have the ability to one-shot, but what makes Spy better is he has invisibility, he has a gun, obviously, guns help, he's got plenty of different knives, which is actually a very effective thing. You can change your entire playstyle off of the knife you have. That's pretty crazy. Obviously, his disguises. Now, this helps a lot. The disguises allows him to, you know, obviously disguises other people, despite it literally just being a plastic mask on his face. But it's still effective nonetheless because everybody on the team is idiots and they don't realize it until he has shot them in the head or backstabbed them. Somehow, getting shot in the head is actually less effective than being stabbed. Trick stabbing. Now, obviously, uh, the imposter does, in fact, have the ability to, from a decent range, kill somebody um, from any angle. However, the spy can also do this by abusing hitboxes and then spinning around a person, causing them to have an aneurysm while he stabs them in their back. Pretty effective, especially since it one-shots, and the second you make the wrong move, you're dead, and you have nothing to do about it except for dying. You can die. That's not fun, though. And, you know, of course, there is the Sapper, which is basically just the melee version of the imposter's sabotage. Now, the imposter has his ability to kill anybody within a short radius, um, as long as he has his killing ability recharged, which is definitely a downside, unlike Spy, who does not have a recharge on his killing spree. Now, uh, Mr. Imposter does in fact have the ability to, from any distance, sabotage any electrical-based equipment in his killing area, to, so to speak. Now, I think this ability is very underlooked for Mr. Imposter, and this is something Spy definitely does not have. 
Mr. Imposter has the ability to not be killed. His crewmates, not expecting an imposter to be here, so obviously as a result, they did not bring any type of weapons. And as a result to that, they do not have an ability to kill Mr. Imposter. Now, because of this, Mr. Imposter is free to kill whoever he likes until he gets voted out. Now, you could just throw a couple of piece, pieces of paper into a bucket and just assume he's the imposter, and if he is, the imposter will be killed. A very sad story. However, it does have its advantages. So, obviously, it would seem that the uh, Mr. Imposter does not have as many abilities as uh, the spy from Team Fortress 2 has. He simply just does not have the skill or money as Spy does. However, we cannot just look at the good sides because everybody has their weaknesses. So of course, we are going to start off with Spy, who with, along with his many abilities, he has weaknesses. Of course, the Spy is in fact scared of PP and when it gets on his white boy suit, he cries a lot. Now his next weakness would be fire, especially when you have a maniac on the other team with a flamethrower. Being lit on fire renders his invisibility entirely useless. His next weakness is engineers. Now in combat, engineers are effectively useless unless they can aim, which is unfortunate. However, their main offense towards spies is the simple fact that they can destroy his sappers, which is his only effect of sabotage. Another weakness for the spy is random crits. Pretty much every time you get a backstab, you are guaranteed to be random crit by every explosive class in a five mile radius, which is quite unfortunate for the spy because it makes him die instantly after a single backstab. Now of course, uh, Mr. Imposter has to have some weaknesses as well. We've already discussed the fact that Mr. Imposter can be easily killed if he's voted off the ship. Now, he also has some other weaknesses. He can only kill one person at a time and then it is delayed roughly 30 seconds. Another um, disability as the imposter is the simple fact that he cannot um, constantly sabotage either. However, the spy can. Imposter may not have that many downsides. However, his upsides are what balance it out. Mainly because the fact that the imposter also does not have that many abilities, which means he does not need that many disabilities to make him a balanced character. So as we can see, these two characters are very closely related, as their jobs are very similar. However, the real question here is who does it more efficiently? Now looking at these two guys by side by side, they basically do the same exact thing, and have very similar weaknesses, except for different playstyles. Now, for the final verdict, we have to decide on who does it more efficiently. Now, judging by what they do and how they do it, it seems to come down that the simple determining factor is the fact that Spy can kill more efficiently, as well as sap more efficiently. However, unfortunately for Mr. Imposter, he could not do things like Spy nearly as fast as he does it. Now, as a result, this concludes that our winner is in fact the Spy from Team Fortress 2. Congratulations. Now, normally I don't actually, <clears throat> normally I don't actually do videos like this. Uh, I just felt like, you know, might as well change up the style a little bit. Um, you know, just see how uh, people react to it. And depending on 
how well it turns out. I might do a couple more, maybe not. I don't know yet, but I'm sure we'll see in time. So, uh, that's gonna be all for today. Um, maybe, perhaps, get another video in sometime within next week. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna be very busy next week, so a lot of it's gonna be up to my editor, see how I'm seeing how he does. Um, if he doesn't, that's fine. You know, hopefully I'll be able to get in one before school starts, and, you know, then I really won't have enough time to do videos, which is going to be quite unfortunate, but hopefully I can get in a couple uh, in my spare time. But, um, video took about, what is that, like, freaking, woke up at 7, it's 1 p.m. now. So that's at least 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hours. <laughs> Jeez, man. What? Seriously? That's insane. No, it's not. Not. I don't know. Regardless, that's, yeah, took a while to finish up this video, so hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, ugh, like it, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.